Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, I finally, finally, after many different uh, solutions here to try to get um, uh, R to read any kind of um, uh, no SQL database, be it Cassandra, this other one that I'm about to show you called Redis. Uh, there's, I, I know it can be done with Mongo as well as uh, CouchDB, but um, the best one I found was Redis. Um, it is kind of confusing when you read about all these different um, uh, no SQL databases, but from what I gather, Redis might be um, probably the easiest to install for R and especially for my needs. Um, you know, there's also the Cassandra. I couldn't find anything that worked with R and Cassandra together. CouchDB, I didn't try. MongoDB, I didn't try either. But uh, I came across his website. Now, if you come to the Quant Labs uh, blog, um, I will give you all the links to these. But um, when I saw this website, uh, bigcomputing.com, and this Do Redis uh, package for R, uh, there was a video. Uh, there was also a full install on the Do Redis. Um, uh, with a PDF as well and I can confirm that these work so let me show you what they are. This video basically is for my needs is quite good um, he's also demoing uh, RStudio which is somewhat similar to MATLAB um, which is kinda cool um, where you can um, hand off jobs to Redis and uh, scale it up as much as you want um, and uh, there's some really cool stuff here as well um, so uh, I'll let you play with that, but again, it seems to be a really nice fit for uh, financial applications, especially for something like a high-frequency trading when it comes to our analytics and uh, high-frequency trading or a quant environment. Um, also, this is the download uh, for um, Redis. Uh, I'm using CentOS Linux. I'm going to show you uh, what I did to get it properly installed. Um, some of these uh, instructions here don't work, uh, specifically these ones. Um, I'll show you what I did to get everything working. That's to get the um, Redis working itself uh, within um, within uh, CentOS. Um, it's not too hard to figure out. Um, so let me jump over to my um, my uh, CentOS uh, to show you what I did to get the um, to get the uh, Redis working and all that stuff. So basically, um, I have here Redis running the server. Um, let me just create a new uh, install of uh, or a new terminal. Uh, okay. So what I did was again, I always do stuff as a root. I just don't want to go through the privileges. Any issues with that? So, um, as it stands, uh, there is a Redis, um, okay, here's my Redis, uh, directory, and, um, what I did was, uh, I downloaded this file from the Redis, uh, repository, um, this is the current version, um, and from there, uh, let me just see if I still have that up and running. Um, I know you can search it somewhere on um, the uh, Git, um, but uh, if you do a Google on that, uh, let me know uh, if you can't find it. But essentially, that's what you're wanting to do is to find the... Uh, the um, the uh, this 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 tarball um, and then obviously untar it. Um, so let me just show you what it also contains. Um, once you untar the um, the Reddit Redis, uh, there's a readme file. Uh, and uh, basically what you got to do is you got to do a make um, and uh, it's pretty straightforward it does work I can confirm it it's nothing tricky um, what you got to do is you got to go into uh, your um, source let me just show you where you need to 
to go uh, right here just make make on this make file and it will make everything for you um, and then there's also a rec once you, once your make is successful which you should have no problem with um, your next step is they want you to do a test on everything just to make sure it, it, it works properly so they'll run for a bit and then I'll successfully test everything make sure your configuration and all that is running fine now everything I'm about to show you is fairly basic um, so essentially uh, once you've successfully tested and make your Redis server you can then go into the SRC folder uh, run uh, your Redis um, server and this is what uh, basically this terminal is doing right now is just the basic um, Redis right here and then it will launch the Redis server <coughs> and then essentially from there uh, once you have the Redis you know just using the defaults or whatever um, doesn't really matter you can uh, you know you can you can essentially let's make another terminal here um, right now using VirtualBox has some strange uh, errors okay let me just reopen that install guide here so essentially once you get your um, server running uh, from there you do this step then you want to test out the the client you can do all kinds of um, configuration uh, with Redis but uh, I just kept like I said everything basic you want to uh, go back in another terminal session and run these commands so you go into your SRC run the Redis client right here uh, and I'll bring it to the shell for Redis then you do uh, a ping and all these other tests to make sure that they're running okay which they should um, and that's all you need to do to get your Redis working make sure your uh, server and a, and a, 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 a uh, Redis client is able to connect so once you launch your uh, R studio in my case here uh, now this is where you get into the R um, you want to install your um, your uh, do Redis package for R um, and essentially it's uh, this guy right here um, let me just go back into my windows the host uh, where's my big computing so now we're getting into the world of um, do Redis um, and uh, obviously I use um, uh, the uh, our studio uh, for the IDE of R um, which I'm assuming a lot of people are probably moving towards and then essentially what you do is you load up your uh, Redis library and then there's a bunch of um, commands you can run for uh, R sorry do R do Redis um, and this is in the PDF I showed you earlier um, this one right here uh, I'll show you I'll, I'll give you the, the the download link but you can essentially get the download link from here uh, this do Redis PDF and then from there uh, you run these examples within your shell or your um, your our studio uh, as in here so uh, I'll just pretty well go through it uh, really fast running all these jobs uh, as it suggests um, you register your jobs uh, you start a local worker you create a loop uh, and then you remove the jobs so essentially that's what I did here um, no errors everything communicated properly from R to the Redis server remember everything's all local just just to get everything working and just to see it work and see it connect um, then there's uh, another example that I used um, and this is where I stopped did the exact same set of steps here um, which basically just uh, demonstrates the fault tolerance of Redis and um, 
Let me just go back to my R Studio. Same thing. When I ran it, everything ran fine, no errors. Um, and uh, there you go. Uh, we've got um, R connecting with this R Do Redis uh, package, and then um, connecting into the Redis server, uh, as I showed you here. So everything seems to be working just fine. Um, I uh, would have liked to have seen uh, something with Cassandra working, but I'm sure it can be done. I just prefer to go the easier route with uh, some demo videos and some uh, installation guides. So everything's looking good. Um, as far as the Hadoop, I've got other videos with that, but it seems that this uh, Do Redis and Redis uh, NoSQL database is probably the best way to go for me because it's simple, less coding, and less things to maintain. But I always have that other option for the Hadoop as well. But again, I'm not even sure if the Hadoop, the demos that I've shown are actually complete. But all in all, this do, uh, this do Redis uh, package for R works great as well as the um, Redis itself. So it's an end-to-end -end demo of uh, getting R working with some form of a NoSQL database, in this case Redis. Hopefully uh, that'll help you out.